Hey, I'm Hayley and as usual, this is Hamish. And today we're going to be talking about traveling safely with your pets. We take Hamish camping with us, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do for a trip and just travel safety in general. So before hitting the road for your trip, it's important to do some research to find some dog friendly campgrounds and hiking trails. Australia has quite strict national park rules to protect our fauna and flora, so you won't be able to take your dog to a lot of places because of this. But I have compiled a list of places below for you to have a look at and find something suitable for you. It's a blog post if you want to check that out and find some uh, pet friendly places to stay. I highly recommend making reservations in advance, especially around the peak holiday season as these spots can fill up pretty quickly. So your dog needs some essentials for the trip, just like we do. So be sure to pack their food, water, bowls, leash, collar, ID tags, and any necessary medications that you might be needing on the trip. I'll also briefly talk about a first aid kit in a minute, but if you're out on a hike, for example, you want to make sure you're, you have a bowl and water for your dog if needed. You can get some fancy water bottles that can be clipped onto a pack, but honestly, we just use a bottle and just a bowl and sometimes even our hands for Hamish to drink out of. Also bringing a bed and a blanket for them to sleep on and make them comfortable in the newer environment is a good idea. We did have some trouble uh, with Hamish getting him settled for the night when we first started camping because he just was a quite an anxious dog, he still is, but um, we actually invested in a dog sleeping bag which is this one here. This is actually from Anaconda and it's been the best thing for him to feel nice and cozy and safe at night because he can go under here and tuck himself right in. So most places will state that you must always keep your dog on a leash to ensure their safety but it does also help the wildlife and other campers. We have a leash that can be twisted into the ground and then just hooks onto Hamish's harness. It's quite long so it gives him a little bit of freedom but he can't wander off and explore which means we can relax knowing he's not off somewhere doing something silly. So depending on your camping or travel destination you may encounter wildlife such as snakes, ants, possums, birds, goannas and other animals. So it's really important to be aware of the potential wildlife in that area and take precautions to keep your dog safe. Hamish is a terrier, so he has a prey drive like no tomorrow. We have definitely had some instances with small marsupials and lizards that he has chased, which is why it's always important to have him on a lead around camp because you never know when he might just run off and chase something and maybe that something might just chase him back. A big thing with wildlife as well is to make sure you clean up any dog food or food sources when you go to bed because this also attracts wildlife. And if your dog is sleeping outside, it, it could cause some distress. So some people who travel choose to have their dog sleep in the tent or caravan with them, while others have a dedicated travel cage outside where their dog can be safely inside for the night. Okay, so let's move on to the checks before you go. It's really important to make sure your pet is updated with their latest vaccinations, especially parvovirus for dogs, for example, and any tick and flea prevention that you might be on, especially tick pre prevention if you do live in Queensland like I do, then you know how deadly ticks can be. So it's, it's really important to have your dog protected against these diseases and parasites because if they're swimming around in a creek or maybe going through long, long grass on a walk with you, they might pick up something dangerous and you might be in the middle of nowhere with no help around you. So I personally always give Hamish next guard before a trip because he has had many, many ticks on him when we have gone camping and they irritate his skin too. He has got dermatitis. So I do carry some little tweezers to get them out of his skin as well. So let's talk about travel safety in your car. There are multiple different ways you can keep your dog safe in your car. Options include a seatbelt harness like this one. Yeah, you know what this is. It clips into the seatbelt and then has a clip on the other end to put onto your dog's harness so that they can lay comfortably in the back seat of your car. But you can also get a car dog seat or even a travel crate. That's not that's also going to keep your dog safe, but also prevents any distractions while driving. During longer trips, take frequent breaks to let your dog stretch their legs, relieve themselves and stay hydrated. It's also important to never leave your dog in a hot car. 
you know, it goes without saying, but even for a short time as temperatures can rise very quickly. So just be really careful in those really hot summer months. Okay, so let's talk about a first aid kit. We carry a first aid kit for in general, which is both for us and the dog. So for any minor injuries or health issues that may arise during your trip. So this should always include items like bandages, antiseptic wipes, and any medication that your dog may need. We also keep an ear cleaner in there because Hamish can fly to the moon with his ears <laughs> and tick tweezers too for any sneaky parasites that might be on him during that trip. Travelling with your dog can be a wonderful experience. It creates lasting memories and a strong bond between you and your pup. So I hope you found these short camping trips useful and you have a safe and enjoyable trip together. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips on pet care. And we'll see you in the next one where we talk about Christmas and New Year with your pet. Do you want to say bye-bye? It's all done now. You've been such a good boy. Yeah, you are so good. You're like the star of the show.